Hey guys, Marsting in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we're going to show off this AGL Super Saiyan Goku that just got his EZA on global via the Extreme Z area, everybody's favourite uh, method of Extreme Z awakening. Uh, he's in one of the units from the Hero Extermination set. Uh, he's actually very good, I tweeted about him yesterday. Um, he's a very solid support unit. He's going to work very nicely on some of these teams like Super Saiyans and Kamehameha that desperately needed some better uh, support units to be floating around in slot 3. Not even necessarily better. They're just severely lacking in actual support units. And um, I'm still very much old school in the sense of I love my team builds to be two main rotations of the two units that go well together and then all the other units to be basically floating support units. And nowadays... We are seeing these side banner units that are becoming way better so you can run them in harder content and you're still using them as that support unit um, slot. So this guy's really, really good. Unfortunately, I didn't get his links done in time. I was uh, doing a whole bunch of other random stuff and other units. But interesting that there isn't a single six. They're all five or seven. But uh, yeah, he's pretty good. Haven't given him any skill orbs yet, but I think I will because I'll probably use him on those teams. But his passive is attack and defense 100%, then he gets an additional 70% and gives all allies 3 key and 30% attack and defense when HP is 50% or more. So that means obviously he's going to have 200% attack and defense as well as the 3 key. But then when you're below 50%, he gets an additional 200% defense and a high chance to guard, which means he's going to have 100% attack, 300% defense and that chance to guard and then he does raise attack and defense on his super so I've jumped into the uh, we got the super saiyan team with him on it now obviously normally we would use him as a support like I was just saying but because we want to showcase him we are going to have him on main rotation uh, I've brought the tech Goku and Gohan like the Goku family support they are an infinite defense stacker so hopefully they won't be too bad in this event um, they share six out of the seven links with him. So, very, very good. Now, obviously, on this first turn, we got a full rotation of Super Saiyan Gokus. So, no links activated whatsoever. We got type advantage, though. So, not really surprising that we tanked uh, all the hits for double digit damage. And then the Int Super Saiyan Gokus can uh, just go off here. Obviously, they get the chance to do the additional because they're in the slot two or three. Plus, they do also have dupes. I think the friend one I brought is either one or two, and mine has two. So, with the triple super, that means he got the additional from his passive and from the hidden potential system. So, very good turn for this Int Goku. Absolutely destroying <laughs> base Goku here. So, I'll move on to this rotation. Um, I think we'll just go ahead and do this. I guess ideally, I want to float you off straight away, actually, because you are a support unit. So, we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, grab those for you, and then those for you, so you can at least get a super attack. Not that we need to really worry about high school Goha getting a super attack, because it's not like he does a lot of damage, even with type advantage. But yeah, this Goku is going to be very good. Uh, the only thing, of course, he is a Super Saiyan Goku. So as you saw with the first turn here, we have the same name update now. So we can bring him on the team, but he can't link up with other Super Saiyan Gokus. So if you are running the Super Saiyans team, for example, and you want to have an in Goku on both rotations, it does mean that when this guy floats into slot 3, you need to make sure that Goku's in slot 1. But in longer events, he builds up his defense, so that's not really a huge issue. Uh, you just can't have them together if you want any links to activate. But he has a very solid link set. Uh, as we can see here with these guys, he has six out of the seven links active. So very, very good. And his start of turn defense, 107k. Uh, I was going to say without a support unit on the turn, but it's without a support unit in slot three. Because remember, these guys are giving a buff to Goku family category allies. And obviously, he's got his 30% as well. So... That means we're going to jump up to around about 130, maybe close to 135k on super attack. And we'll go ahead and do this and we'll grab these for you. So the reason why I jumped into the GT Goku event is because I want to see the turn where we're below 50% HP. Hopefully get the guard. Um, double super as well. Nice. That's double defense raise as well. So now he's going to be way above 150k defense. So tanking normal attacks for double digits, as we would expect. Very, very good. I just want to see that turn where we're below 50% HP, where he's got 300% defense. Hopefully we get the guard to go off. It'd be very nice timing if we could get that 
uh, and actually have him guard a super attack as well because obviously this is outside of the god stages i guess but this is like the gold standard for the most difficult event on global at the moment we don't have the legendary vegeta event yet but yeah this is uh if he can tank a super like obviously it is one of those unfortunate things where it is an rng related chance to guard which i generally don't like but you know it's just an added feature like he's a support unit with very solid stats um if you're below the 50 percent hp then he's going to be getting that 200 percent extra defense anyway but of course in an event like this you do really want that guard to kick in but we took a big hit here in slot one it's kind of what i was hoping for actually because now in the next turn we are going to have the second part of the passive for the super saiyan goku now obviously if you're bringing him on the team to be a support unit then it is a little bit annoying that when you're below 50% HP, he does lose the support ability. But I think it's a decent enough trade-off because in difficult content like this, the one thing you obviously don't want is your support units getting you killed, which is why it's so good that we're seeing these new side banner units that are like the 40% supports for categories. That can also hold their own defensively because you don't want to be bringing a support unit in slot 3, giving everybody else on the rotation a little bit of a buff, but then if they're the one that gets tagged by a super, they just get killed. So I really want to see how well this Goku is going to be able to defend. Hopefully we can get the guard, but... I feel like he's going to be a very useful unit. Let's see where the attacks line up here. So start of a new phase. Okay, yeah, this is perfect. Perfect. So we've got the support. We should still have the passive active because of the start of the turn buff. So, yeah, 149k defense now. Um, so let's see if we can actually get the guard off here. So we'll grab this. I forgot I had the Android uh, 17 and 18 support memory on. Because that does give you a little bit of a heal. But normally the way the passives work is at the start of the turn. Yeah, see our attack stats way lower. And we've got double support units on the rotation. So yeah. Now his guard did not go off. But physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I uh, see this is the unfortunate. How much do we take from a super here? 224k. <sighs> Ooh, so bad. That's a bad example. That's not what I wanted to see. <laughs> uh, I feel like this always happens in showcases where it's like, hey, this unit is really good for this one specific thing. If you can get the right situation and then we get almost in that right situation. But yeah, that's the problem with units that only have a chance to activate their guard is uh, that can happen. So the guard doesn't activate. You take a ton of damage. Very unfortunate. Uh, if we go ahead and use this, I think we should... Actually, no, I don't think we will be able to take enough damage this turn to drop back below 50% HP again. But we've still got this stage and the Azaru to get through. So I think we can quite easily take... Although that's that's in, in the instance where we don't get supered, of course. If this Goku, even with the Princess Snake active, if he, su if he super attacks one of these Super Saiyan Gokus, then uh, we are obviously going to still take a fair bit of damage because we've got type disadvantage. But... We'll see how that plays out. So, I mean, 220k, that's a lot of damage to be taking. Um, it's just unfortunate that the guard didn't activate. But what can you do? <laughs> I mean, like I said, the main role for this guy, he's uh, a support unit. He's going to be in slot 3. So he's basically always going to have super attacks before he gets hit. So you're going to get that defense raise. You definitely want to give him as much additional as possible so he can get double supers as regularly as possible. Um... And then, yeah, obviously, sometimes you're not going to get that guard to activate. But, like I said, his main role, like, there's those teams that are just really lacking, like, a solid support unit. And uh, he definitely fills that role. Obviously, if it was up to me, uh, no unit would ever have a chance to guard passive. He would just guard. Like, because you've got to be below 50% HP already anyway. So, you've already got to hit a HP restriction. They might as well just make it so that he has... Uh, guards all attacks like in that mode completely but anyway so we don't have that active here so we do have the normal support passive active so 200 percent attack and defense overall 136k pre super which is pretty good because that means post super attack he easily jumps up to what close to 175k not super far off 200k defense so definitely not too bad there and then super attack 1.85 million. Obviously, he's not going to be dishing out crazy damage because he's basically a support unit. But we get the double super. So that puts us over 200k defense here now as well. And uh, yeah, 11 damage. 
See, very, very nice. Uh, the normal attack, I mean, the Goku event is always like that, right? Like, units that don't have damage reduction or insanely high defense, because Goku lowers defense with his super attack, you're always going to be uh, a little bit on the, uh, the back foot when he hits you with a super. But that's where that guard will come in super handy, because that guard activating is going to be the difference between taking, like, 200k like we did previously, and uh, I want to see how much we take with the guard actually active because I don't know how much exactly it's going to cut it down by, but I would imagine at least half, right? Like 100k? But I guess we will potentially see. We've got the Azaru next, which of course Goku's going to have type advantage over him, so technically he's guarding all the time. And uh, let's see. We, get, we got two attacks in slot one, so let's go ahead and do this. We've got some links active. And what's our defense here? 100k. Okay, so we'll do this. And then... I don't want to use an item here, but I feel like we could die. Especially if Goku gets super attacked in the back. I think I should... Let's deliberately 12 key with the Goku in slot 3. So he can get the uh, defense raise on super attack. So... Just close to 2 million attack stat for Goku. Double super? No. Okay, we're going to take the super... So type advantage, still 155k. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but obviously, you know, main rotation AGL units in this mode, especially ones that have been building up, which are, of course, the best units to bring in this mode, not going to be taking that much damage. But I did say at the start, like, you're not going to be using this guy on main rotation. He's going to be a support unit for the most part. So... I guess it is what it is. You guys will have to let me know what you think down below. I definitely, my biggest criticism is the fact that it's just a chance to guard. I think when you have a HP restriction like that, especially when it's 50%, which, you know, you, with some of these tougher teams, especially this one. I mean, with the Super Saiyans team that I used in the video the other day to do the GT Goku event, we beat the whole event without using any items. And I think we dropped below 50% HP once, and then that got us the physical Gogeta fusion. So, it's not something that, like, is necessarily even easy to get on some of these more powerful teams. So, I think the fact that you have to get below 50% HP to even have that second part of his passive activate, I definitely think he should be a guaranteed guard. But, you guys will have to let me know what you think down below. So, we're going to take this super. See, Gohan still took 100k, and he's an LR that's been stacking his defense every single turn. So... When you compare them side by side like that, I mean, the Goku's not looking as bad, I guess. But you guys will have to let me know what you think down below. Like I say, he's technically a free-to-play unit because green gems are very easy to farm from the quest mode, which most people will be doing either for link leveling or trying to get your rank up. So he's effectively a free-to-play card. So I think he's a very, very good addition to some of these teams. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one